So earlier this week, I talked about the fact that uh, on Monday or Tuesday of this week, Rudy Giuliani filed a motion in the defamation lawsuit against him by two Georgia election workers. And in that motion, he did not dispute that he had lied about the actions of those two women, Ruby Freeman and Shay Moss. So basically what he said by not contesting it is, yeah, I lied about these people. What are you going to do? And as I explained at the time, like that totally destroys any legal defense Rudy Giuliani may have. And it does, but it may have destroyed even more than that. It may have actually destroyed parts of the MAGA movement because now Republicans, those who have been staunch defenders of the whole stop the steal movement, they have now come out in the last week after this admission from Giuliani saying we've been duped. We are the sheep and we have been sheared. They lied to us. So Giuliani's court filing is so much more impactful on that MAGA movement than he thought it would be, than any of us thought it would be. But let me read you this quote. This is from Steve Deese, conservative talker with the blaze. Here's what Mr. Deese had to say about Giuliani's admission and what it means for everything they've done for the last almost three years. We are going to the mattresses for these people. We're offering them more accommodations, more chances than we'd offer our own family members for goodness sake. And for what? For Rudy Giuliani to go down to Georgia and admit that he lied? Have Jason Miller tell the January 6th commission, yeah, we all knew it was BS. What is this? Some of you don't like it when I use the cult word. When you like being treated like a schmuck and ask for more, that is a cult. I'm the mark. I'm the sucker. I want to be, uh, to be such. And I resent the person who tries to get me out of that. Those are marks of groupthink. Frankly, he says, how many people in this audience sent money to stop the steal three years ago? How many shows did I waste your time talking about this three years ago? How many? I still have not recovered between election fraud and COVID. I probably have the lowest Facebook following of any major show in this industry. I will routinely post things on Facebook and get like two or three comments. It's like Facebook is like, we won't ban you because you'll whine about it and generate a bunch of publicity. So we'll just make it so no one sees your material at all. Why? because I went to the mattresses on COVID and the election fraud issue only to have Rudy Giuliani say, yeah, I was lying. And Jason Miller say, oh, we knew it was all BS. Sorry for the super long quote though, folks, but I had to get it all out to give you all the context because this is what MAGA freaks were waking up this week and realizing, not necessarily saying Deese is a freak, you know, don't want to insult him like that, but he's not the only one. Giuliani's admission destroyed three years worth of talking points. And that's what Deese is pointing out. He's like, look, we did it for three years. We gave them our money. We gave them our time. We spent shows on this for nothing, all for nothing. It gets worse because you also had Gabriel Sterling, the uh, Republican chief operating officer for Georgia's secretary of state's office. He came out this week after Giuliani's admission and said this. Rudy Giuliani admits that he lied about Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman. We've known for years that he lied about them in the events at State Farm Arena. For those that still believe there was widespread voter fraud, these people are admitting they lied to you. Now don't fret MAGA people. Most people in the MAGA movement are not going to see this and be like, oh no, we were lied to. I'm done. I'm throwing my MAGA hat in the garbage. I'll light it on fire while it's on my head. I don't care. Um, that's not going to happen but just a couple, just a couple have seen just a couple now have that realization. Like, holy crap. I devoted three years of my life to a lie. Oh my God. People's eyes have been opened. And that is always the goal. We're not going to get the whole MAGA movement to, to wake up tomorrow and realize they were lied to. No, but every little bit helps every person that's now not going to be spreading these lies will prevent more people from buying into it and may open a couple more eyes and so on and so forth. It's that ripple effect that this singular admission in Giuliani's court filing could have. So it's bigger than we could have imagined and certainly much bigger than any of us could have hoped for. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. 
And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.